अनुलोम विलोम मेंटल अनुलोम विलोम इज ऑल्सो कॉल इज ऑल्टरनेट नॉस्ट्रल ब्रीदिंग बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्टरनेटिवली ब्रीदिंग फ्राम द नॉस्ट्रल्स ओके इन दिस वॉट वी डू इज वी विल नॉट बी यूजिंग आर थम एंड इंडेक्स फिंगर लाइक वी नॉर्मली डू इन ऑल्टरनेट नॉस्ट्रल ब्रीदिंग वी शेल ट्राई टू डू इट मेंटली सो वी विल इनहेल फ्राम लेट से द लेफ्ट नॉस्ट्रल एक्जेल फ्राम द राइट देन इनहेल फ्राम द राइट एक्जेल फ्राम द लेफ्ट inhale from the left and continue now you know you cannot do this perfectly well but you can make it so that the air is going from your left nostril from the outer walls from the inside but out outside of outside okay and when you exhale it's coming from like kind of curved like that okay so let's uh try to do this there's no way you're going to tell i'm doing it but let's just uh do it a few times and then you exhale slowly release so you know it's uh, one might ask how do i do this so it's just like this you know some people you can uh, focus on the muscle in your ear and you can lift the ear you can focus on the muscle of your eye and lift one eyebrow right same way you can focus on the muscles of your nose and basically inhale from that nostril focus on the muscles of your right nostril and exhale from there focus on the muscles of the right nostril and inhale from there and with practice you will be able to do anulom vilom mentally and anulom vilom is a very beneficial breathing exercise because it helps to focus and balance our mind when the mind is well balanced it relaxes our body and the body heals when it is relaxed mixture of flows downward dog let's go into bhujangasan bend your elbows inhale into cobra the legs do not touch the floor exhale downward dog inhale cobra exhale downward dog once more go back into downward dog stay in downward dog raise your right leg bring the right knee to the right elbow inhale up exhale right knee to the left elbow do this two more times inhale exhale inhale exhale and going up now coming into pigeon bring your right leg on the floor and slowly extend your arms forward lean forward and relax with the forehead on the floor breathe in breathe out stay here for five ujjayis enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles lower back breathe in breathe out walk your hands back raise your torso go back into downward dog let's do three downward dog to cobra flows inhale bhujangasan exhale downward dog inhale bhujangasan exhale downward dog once more and now let's raise the left leg nice and high left knee to the left elbow inhale up exhale left knee to the right elbow inhale up two more times inhale exhale raise the leg go into pigeon bring your left leg on the floor thighs in line with the edge of the mat leaning your body forward coming bringing the forehead on the floor stay here for five ujjayis inhale and exhale making the ocean wave sound raise your head walk your hands back let's go back into downward dog and let's get ready to do three more downward dog to cobra flows bend the elbows inhale into cobra exhale downward dog inhale cobra exhale downward dog one last time exhale and then bend your knees spread your knees wide apart 
and slide your body into child pose completely relax maintain this for five to ten breaths take deep breaths the heart rate has increased in this exercise by taking deep breaths you can calm yourself down shoulder exercise let's start in tadasana now separate your feet three feet uh, apart stretch your arms out in line with the shoulders make sure the yeah the arms are 180 degrees apart now keep the right foot in line with the body slowly rotate your torso to the right side by 180 degrees turn your head around and look at your right hand enjoy the stretch in the arms shoulders and neck be aware of the twist in the spine this posture relieves strain in the cervical spine region maintain this for a few breaths or within your capacity breathe in breathe out now slowly release by coming back to the center and let's do this on the left side so bring your left foot in line with the body raise your arms and now swing your body to the left side by 180 degrees turning around looking at your left hand enjoy the stretch in the neck muscles the shoulders the back breathe in breathe out in yoga we always do things within our capacity and we never overexert at any time if it gets difficult just release come back and relax otherwise continue to maintain the posture staying aware of your breathing and the stretch in your body to release slowly bring your body back to the center release your arms bring your feet back together into tadasana cross-legged spinal stretch let's start by lying down on the floor now bend both the knees and place them on the floor interlace your fingers and place them underneath the head gently place your right leg on top of the left leg and there should not be any gap in between the legs move your knees to the left and turn your head to the right maintain this position for 10 breaths you may close your eyes and enjoy the twist in the spine enjoy the stretch in your neck shoulder and back muscles breathe in breathe out slowly lift your knees back bring the legs back to the center now let's flip our legs take the left leg on top of the right make sure there is no gap in between the legs now slowly move your knees to the right look to the left and enjoy the twist in the spine maintain this for 10 breaths observe as you inhale the lungs fill up belly rises rib cage expands slightly as you exhale belly goes in rib cage contracts back breathe in breathe out slowly bring your knees back to the center stretch your legs out bring your arms back on the mat let go of all your weight onto the floor and completely relax. Setu. Setu means bridge in Sanskrit. One should avoid this posture in case of neck injury and recent knee injury. Begin by lying flat on the mat. Bend the knees, placing your feet flat on the floor and position them a few inches apart. The feet should be directly underneath the knees and your knees should not be jutting out. The lower legs should be perpendicular to the floor. So pressing your feet and arms into the mat, raise your hips as you inhale. Interlace your fingers and stretch out your arms. Maneuver your shoulders 
and come up even higher if you can. Let's stay in this position for 10 to 20 ujjayis or ocean breaths. Now let me show, talk about a little bit of the flaw that can happen with the knees. So if your feet are very close to the hips, so if you can Alexa walk your feet towards your hips and then lift your hips off the ground, you notice how the knees are jutting out. We don't want that happening. So you want to come back down, make sure your feet are directly underneath the knees, the feet are slightly apart, okay, and the inner thighs are parallel, inner feet are parallel, lift the hips off the ground, interlace the fingers, stretch your arms out, and maintain this position. Enjoy the stretch in the back muscles and leg muscles. This posture increases the blood circulation in your upper body, energizes the thyroid, and opens up the chest, giving you lungs, more room to expand, and thereby facilitate breathing. This is a wonderful pose to observe your diaphragmatic breathing. Observe as you inhale, your belly rises. As you exhale, the belly comes back down. This posture gives instant relief for people that are experiencing lower back pain or sciatica pain. To release, come out of the posture, bring the hips on the ground, stretch your legs out, release your arms and completely relax. Bhujangasana. Bhujanga means snake or serpent in Sanskrit. This is another variation of cobra pose in which we will incorporate some exercise for the neck. We should not perform this pose with neck, back or wrist injury. If you suffer from these, you may do baby cobra instead. To begin, lay on your belly on the mat. Keep your legs together so the thighs and lower legs touch. Place your hands on the mat below your shoulders. The elbows should be tucked in close to the body. When you are ready, inhale and slowly straighten your arms to bring your upper body off the mat. Keep your shoulders down and away from the ears. Expand the chest and ribcage with each breath. As you raise your body, try to keep your hips on the floor. Make sure your legs and buttocks are relaxed. Raise your head slightly with a gentle smile on your face. Sink into the pose and enjoy the arch in the spine. Center your head and look forward, lengthening and strengthening your neck. Now we will do some head rotations. As you inhale, turn your head to the right. Feel the stretch in the muscles along the left side of your neck. Maintain this for five breaths. As you exhale, return your head to the center. On your next inhalation, turn your head to the left side and maintain this for five breaths. Cobra pose strengthens the spine, the arms and stretches the chest and shoulders. Adding these head rotations stretches and relieves tension in the neck. Now slowly exhale and return to the center. To release the posture, slowly bend the arms to return your upper body to the mat. Stretch your arms out on the mat, rest your face on one side and completely relax. Bhujangasana. Bhujanga means snake or serpent in Sanskrit. This posture is also known as the cobra pose. We should not perform this pose with back, spinal or wrist injury. If you suffer from either of these, you may do baby cobra instead. To begin, lay on your belly on the mat. Keep your legs together so the thighs and lower legs touch. Place your hands on the mat, one on top of the other, close to your chest. On your next inhalation, slowly straighten your arms to bring your upper body off the mat. Keep your shoulders down, expanding the chest and ribcage with each breath. Raise your head and lean slightly backwards. Try to touch the base of your head to your neck and feel the stretch in your neck muscles. 
If you have neck or cervical spinal injury, simply look straight. As you raise your body, try to keep your hips on the floor. Make sure your legs and buttocks are relaxed. Enjoy the arch you have created in your spine. Remain here for 10 to 20 breaths. Bhujangasana strengthens the neck, spine, the arms, as well as stretches the chest and shoulders. In this posture, we are stimulating and energizing our pineal, pituitary, thyroid, pancreas glands, and the liver. Make sure your hips, legs, buttocks, shoulders, and face are all relaxed. To exit the posture, slowly bend the arms to return your upper body to the mat. Stretch your arms out on the mat, rest your face on one side and relax. Bharadvajasana. This posture has been named after a great sage called Bharadvaj. Let's sit on the floor. Now slowly bend your knees and move your feet to the left side. Place the hands on the floor. Place your left hand on your right knee and the right hand on the floor with the fingers pointing away from the body. Now gently twist your torso to the right. On your exhalations, try to twist a little more. Turn your head as far right as you can and expand your chest fully. Maintain this posture for 10 to 20 breaths. Enjoy the stretch in the back, neck and shoulder muscles and the twist in the spine. In this posture, you are squeezing, twisting and energizing your abdominal organs. Now slowly release and do the same on the other side. Bend your knees and move your feet to the right side. Place the hands on the floor. Place your right hand on your left knee and the left hand on the floor with fingers pointing away from the body. Gently twist your torso to the left. On your exhalations, try to twist a little more. Turn your head as far left as you can and expand your chest fully. Maintain this for 10 breaths. Be aware of the twist in your spine. You may close your eyes and be aware of your breathing. And now slowly release, extend your legs out and relax in Dandasana. Vibhrit Karni. Vibhrit means opposite in Sanskrit. This is the inverted pose. Please avoid this posture if you have high blood pressure, glaucoma, or are menstruating. Let's begin by first stretching both the legs. Gently raise the legs through 45 degrees, 90, and then extend the feet beyond the head until the legs are parallel to the floor. Support your hips with your hands. The elbows should be shoulder width apart. Raise the legs vertically in the air. Make sure that you maintain a, about a 45 degree angle between the legs and your torso. So bring your legs slightly lower. Because if you keep your legs perpendicular to the floor, there is excessive weight on the elbows. Maintain this for 30 to 60 breaths. This posture increases blood circulation in the upper body, relieves varicose veins, energizes the thyroid and parathyroid glands, releases pressure in the groin and lower abdominal region, keeps the uterus in a healthy condition, and prevents displacement of abdominal organs and hernia. Improves functions of the gonad and adrenal glands. Adds blow to the face and 
clears out facial acne and pimples. To release, slowly take the legs over the head parallel to the floor. With full control, gently bring the hips on the floor and release the legs. Straighten your, straighten your legs out and relax. We shall now do two car poses. One is the half fish. Slowly place your hands underneath your hips or the sacred region. Using your elbows, bring the top of the head on the floor, floor and uncurl the neck. Stay here for about five breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly release. Release your arms. Relax. And we shall do the threading the needle. Bend one knee, face the other foot. Take the arm in between and hold on to the outside of the knee. Bring the knee close to the floor. When you do Vibrit Karni, what happens is there's an arch in the middle back that's formed. And when you do this complementary posture, you're trying to flatten that part of the back. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly release. Let's go to the other side. Squeeze the knees close to the chest. Enjoy the stretch of the outer pads. Be aware of the flattening of your middle back. Breathe in, breathe out. And now slowly release, stretch your legs out. And finally you can do the neck out stretch, lying down. So inhale, turn your head to one side. Exhale, bring the head back to the center. Inhale, turn your head to the other side. Exhale to the center. Do this a couple more times. And slowly come back to the center position. And Shavasana. Let's begin by lying on the floor. Feet are 10 to 18 inches apart. Palms facing the sky. Fingers gently curled. Find a comfortable position for your head. Let's begin this mental relaxation starting with the legs. Relax the feet, the lower legs, knee joints, thighs. Relax your hip joints, pelvis, abdominal muscles, chest muscles. Relax the shoulders and relax each and every vertebrae of yours. Relax the buttocks. Let's bring our awareness to the arms and send a wave of relaxation through all the muscles in both your arms. Relax your neck muscles, facial muscles, your eyes, eyelids, eyebrows. Bring your awareness to the head and relax the entire skull region. And observe your breathing the smooth and steady breathing. If there is any part in your body that needs that extra relaxation, you may relax it now. Otherwise, stay focused on your breathing. To release, slowly wriggle your fingers and your toes. Gently turn on to your left side or your right side. Place your hand underneath the head, making a pillow out of it, and slowly come into a sitting position. Let's rub our palms, make them nice and warm. Place them on the eyes. Let the warmth flow from the palms to the eyes. Release the hands. Place them on the knees. Open your eyes. <laughs> 